Hi there everyone, this is Melissa from DJ Event Planner and today we're going to talk about mail servers. If you're sending your emails via DJ Event Planner then you already know how much time you can save. But many people don't realize that there are two ways we can send your emails. One of these methods uses a system called external mail servers which is what we're going to look at today. If you have not set up your external mail server settings, then it is likely you may have experienced one or more of the following when sending your emails. Your email goes into your client's junk mail folder, you're unable to send emails, or your email wasn't received by your client. Today I'm going to show you what happens to your email with both of our sending methods, and then I'll show you how to set up your mail server settings. Sending emails with our mail server settings in place. First, you'll create an email template to be sent to your client. We then take that email and pretend to be your email provider. This is called identity spoofing. We then send that email template to your client's email provider. But sometimes because we spoofed, your client's email provider doesn't like that and they mark the email as junk, or even worse, won't deliver it. Sending emails with your email settings in place. Okay, we're going to send that same email you've just created, but this time, because you've put in your mail server details, we don't have to use our server. We skipped past our server and go directly to your email provider's server. Because your identity is confirmed, your email is sent. This also means that your email is much less likely to go into your client's junk folder. Now, let's look at how to set up your external mail server settings. Before we continue, now would be a good time to pause and get the following information. It is best to reach out to your email provider to get this information directly from them. You'll need your email username. This is usually your email address. You'll need your email password. And you'll need your outgoing mail server details. This is typically something like SMTP, dot your provider dot com or mail dot your provider dot com again if you're not sure we recommend you contact your email provider next go to setup on the left hand menu of your djep account then click on the emails button and then the settings box at the top next choose the profile you want to add your mail server settings to for this example, we're going to go with the Master Administrator. On the line marked Outgoing Server, click on the Setup button. In the pop-up window, enter your email username on the top. Your email password on the second line. And finally, your server address you found earlier. One last thing, you're going to need to set a port number. This should have been given to you by your email provider. Normally, it is either 25 or 465. If you're using Gmail, you can try to use port 587. Finally, click on Save Settings. At this point, we'll attempt to connect to your mail server, and if successful, a message will appear and your external mail settings are in place. If we can't connect, you will see an error message appear. Try to enter your email details information again, making sure that you have everything correct. Be mindful of case sensitivity and spelling. If you're sure everything is correct, try again, but try changing the port number this time. Be sure to read the Help FAQ section, which can be found by clicking the box in the upper right-hand corner. If you continue to get an error message, please make sure to post in the official DJEP support forum. And that's it. Once you have your mail server settings in place, you should be able to find your emails being received with no problems and no more clients saying it went into their junk folder.